Hello Zambia, hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm back again with another video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is Ignatius, and apologies, I've been quiet these days. You know, I've been silent, but I'm back now. And today I will be going through a remake that I did uh, for this guy. Basket damn, was that my need too? Anyway, yeah, they look alike though. Yeah, for this guy, Basca, Basca, the title is in the Wazua. And yeah, 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 yeah. So, here's the, here's the, um, the, the beat. Let, let me see if I can implement, uh, what was this? Uh, Ozone 8. This thing usually messes with my, my, my PC. Everything will start clipping, so I'll minimize. And well, let, let, let's listen to it. <laughs> just messes with things anyway um yeah so for this one i started with the kick and yeah uh i i, I came across uh this this plugin uh called uh, talk you know if you don't have this i would suggest you have it in some waves bundle it's not included so if you don't have it you just have to upgrade to a higher version of waves waves damn yeah waves yeah so i i i, I used this and i also implemented uh smack attack yeah you need to get it as well don't ask me why i know that just get it Okay, so I'll, I'll play the 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 kick without the without these uh, plugins, just so you you understand uh, the level of impact it brings to the song. <laughs> yeah, so here's the kick without the without the plugins. And here is the kick with the plugins. So it works for me, okay? I think I'll begin to utilize it more. So after the kick, I added in uh, this sound. Yeah, and I, I always use a stereo shaper, especially on this, these instruments and yeah. And then the snare. And on the snare, I I added in talk, talk, the talk. I don't even know how to pronounce this creepy word, but it's awesome, you know. <laughs> yeah, talk, I, I implemented it and also the smack attack with different settings, of course. Yeah. Yeah, after that, I added in the shaker, basic things. Yeah. Yeah, and then 
after that I added in the, the bass. basic uh, progression and, uh, and of course you I'm, I'm sure i mentioned in my other videos that when you are mixing the bass the bass the 8 or 8 and the kick you need to use side chain okay and what what i do is that uh, i would come to the kick then come here and then right click it then go here side chain to this track then when you do that uh you come to the bass or the eight or eight then you insert a limiter then you go to the com compressor here from limiter to compressor then you just put the kick here and you mess with some of these things which i mentioned in my other video z then <laughs> okay yeah so when you do that uh the the the, the bass will leave room for the kick to hit mentioned that in my previous videos anyway let's move on and then i added in this this sound i couldn't get the accurate uh sounds that i heard in the song so i just implemented some things which were not there but i made them to be in this one so just listen to it <laughs> also i added in this sound. And after that, I added in the the mute guitar, Nexus. And of course, on this one, I I I, I added the stereo shape again to widen it up a little bit more. Then after that, I added in the keys. And usually on the keys, I just place the stereo enhancer. Yeah. And uh, one thing I, I, I should mention is that I, I make sure all my instruments, uh, the bass, the synth the lead guitars the keys i make sure that the volumes are not that high you know i have to leave room for the vocals so i, I remember when i was starting to to produce music so to say i, I would make sure that all my instruments he were, were loud you know and we when we are beginning we, we tend to go through that phase you know we just want everything to sound like sound hard you know and at some point you realize that doing that is it's it's rubbish yeah so you just have to make sure that your, your keys are not loud you know you just have to leave room for your vocals and all that Psh, i think we're, we're talking too much today <laughs> anyway then i added in this what's up with my pc is it the same the string strings I, 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 I. anyway we have this and then after that i added in this sound which is not in the original song Pure MIDI. and I, I added in this uh ps22 spread 10 stereo shanshani <laughs> Yeah, I, I like I like to use this especially on vocals, uh the, the 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 for the backings and all that. Instead of panning your 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 vocals like this, like like over here, I just add this plugin and then it does the panning. I don't have to do it over here, I just do it here. And it sounds amazing. So I just implemented this here for today on this beat, on this video. Yeah. And then after that, I recorded in a uh, lead guitar.
Yeah, so on the lead guitar, I added in guitar rig for the effects and all that madness. <laughs> yeah, and of course, stereo shape to widen it up a little bit. Yeah, so that that's about it. That's how I made uh, this this remake. Okay, uh, you should check the description. You'll find the FLP there. Uh, yeah, so do this. Okay, do this. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe or and like the video and anyway, I thank you for watching um out